welcome to the Performance Kitchen. I'm Lizzie. Now today I'm joined by a remarkable young woman and I think it's fair to say she's more Robin Hood than Miss Maid Marian. Please welcome double Paralympic archery champion Danielle Brown. Thank you. Danielle, it's a pleasure to have you in the kitchen today. Thank you for joining us. Right, what are we cooking up today? So we're going to be doing salmon skewers uh, with a soy, honey and wasabi marinade. And to accompany that, we've got rice and stir-fried vegetables. Sounds amazing and very healthy. Right up my street. Right, first things first, the salmon. Yes, yes, let's um, grab a piece each and we need to chop them into fairly even chunks. Great, right, I'll grab us some knives. So you're getting sort of square chunks so they fit nicely on the skewers? Yes, yeah, square chunks. Right, so I'm going to follow your lead. I'd say this piece is quite a, a thick piece, so I'm just going to cut it into three, three. lengthways. I'll go for the double like this. And then perfect. So Danielle, tell me more about this dish. When would you normally eat this and when would you sort of sit down and enjoy it? So this is just sort of an evening meal for me really, it's really simple to do, really easy and also quite quick so if you're home late it doesn't take long to do at all. Um, it, it's healthy, you don't have to have it with the rice if you're um, quite full, so it's, it's, it's just quite a nice versatile dish. Lovely, okie doke. Right, so next we need a spring onion each. Yep, there so, we go. And how is there? And you were telling me earlier that this was a dish inspired by your mum. Yeah, my mum um, got me a recipe book actually with this in it and um, it, it sort of... I'd never really thought to marinate salmon in, in soy sauce. I normally put it with lemon and we, we tried it and actually it was really, really tasty. So uh, yeah, I keep, keep going back to this one. Fabulous. So yeah, our spring onions go on the on the skewers, so we just need to chop, chop them into sort of about an inch inch length. About an inch length. Is that yep. okay? Yeah, that works. Great. I think spring onions really bring a nice rich taste to any dish, don't they? Yeah. Real fresh. You can have them in salads, you can cook them. Very versatile indeed. Oh. So right there. Right, yep. Great. You might need another one if there's uh, Yep, I can sauce this some more spring onions, no problem at all. Uh, down As if by <laughs> magic. Great All right, stuff. two more each. Yep, wonderful. So whilst we're prepping these, Danielle, let's get on to the topic of you and your archery career because it's absolutely incredible what you've achieved in such a short amount of time. Can you take me back to when it all started? Yeah, I actually started archery on my 15th birthday, so um, it's quite an unusual sport really and the reason I, I ended up doing it was because I'd become disabled. So I loved sport when I was growing up, I did, I did lots of it, my family were very active so I was always out running, cycling, walking, we did a lot of camping, that kind of thing. Um, when I became disabled I've got something called complex regional pain syndrome in my feet, it causes chronic pain there all the time so I couldn't run around I, I could hardly walk and for me being forced to give up sport was was very very difficult so I didn't know anything about Paralympic sport at the time figured that uh, playing with bows and arrows seemed a bit more fun than bobbing up and down in a pool and so, was, yeah. was it that you tried out a variety of sports before you, you chose archery or, or was there something that you just thought oh, archery's the one I tried out a lot of sports as, as I was growing up, but when, when the disability happened, my, my choices were limited and I didn't know that, that there were adapted sports. Um, it also took five years for me to get a diagnosis, so I, wasn't six, I was 16 until I eventually got a diagnosis. Uh, from Yorkshire, we had to drive all the way down to Great Ormond Street, down in London, to actually get that diagnosis. So, you know, sort of not understanding what it was, it was sort of difficult to to understand the, the things that were there to help. Yeah, and, and you found that in archery. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I have to admit, I was really, really bad when I first started. Um, it was a miracle if I could hit the target, but I just, I loved it. You know, I loved 
being back outside, taking part in sport again. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. Fantastic. Okay, so spring onions are done. Yep. Are we happy with that? We certainly are. Right. What's next? So next we need our skewers. There we go. Are we doing two each? Two each, sounds good. Now the only problem with the wooden skewers I find is that they're not, they're, they're always too long to fit in the pan, so you've just got to break them off at the right. end. Right, about that. Should we see? About yep. that in length. About. Give it a snap. There we go. There we go. And so then you just sort of get your skew your salmon. salmon. Bit of spring onion in between, and then more salmon. I always find skewers, they make, it remind me of the summer, you know, barbecues and sort of the sunshine and happy memories. Yes, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it, it, it is a bit, but I don't know, I end up, this is, I find this quite a nice warming dish actually, so even though, yeah, you do sort of associate skewers with, with summer. Great. And we're doing sort of an Asian dish that we're cooking today. Have you ever been to Thailand? <laughs> I've been to Thailand once, yes. I had a world championship there. Um, with the sport, I have done a lot of travelling. I have been to China quite a few times, actually. Uh, Beijing and Shanghai. Uh, and I, Yeah, I do love the, the travelling, actually, uh, element of, of the sport. And did you find that when you were travelling, um, it was difficult to find good healthy foods to, to eat whilst you're competing? In a way, it was very difficult because whilst you're at home, whilst you're, you're training, you are in control of your diet. Um, mm. I sort of cook all my, my food from scratch um, and, you know, I, I sort of have not necessarily a nutrition plan, but I always made sure I ate very healthily and, and sort of good fresh food. But when you go away, you, you're living in hotels, there's normally a lot of competitors there. You don't really get a choice of what you're given. It's normally a buffet-style food. And, yeah, sometimes they can be pretty terrible, to be honest. Yeah, or buffet foods in hotels. Not quite like what we cook up here in the performance kitchen, hey? Not quite. So when you were competing on the road a lot, did you sort of stick to a strict diet plan when you were training? And talk me through your... Um, sort of your daily routine? Yeah, I wouldn't say it was a strict diet plan I had. I just, um, I mean, when I was training full time, I, I actually found eating my main meal for lunch was really beneficial, but it was a real pain to sort of cook that. You'd end up cooking it the night before or that morning and then taking it in in a container and microwaving it. So you were quite limited in your choices. Sure. But uh, no, I mean, breakfast was usually um, sort of eggs, sort of egg-based uh, cereal, and toast wasn't bad. Just sort of making sure you did have sort of quite a filling, healthy yeah. breakfast. A lot of fruit, uh, I quite like my fruit and yoghurt for breakfast. Lunch, I'd have sort of a main meal and dinner. Actually, I thought they'd need something like this actually, but without the rice, so I wouldn't have carbs in an evening. Yeah, this is very healthy, and uh, yes, yeah, so you could eat this for pleasure or when you're training. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to just pop one more skewer together. Yeah, so I've got some yours are looking, salmon. Yours are looking pretty, pretty good, good actually. Have a lot of practice in I this know, dish. Mine, I mine, are, mine are slightly flimsy. I quite like this one. <laughs> we'll go with it. We'll roll with it. Um, so, Danielle, you've competed at two Paralympic Games. That's yes. an incredible achievement. Tell me more about that. Uh, it was amazing. I went, my first one was Beijing 2008, so I'd only been in the sport for five years and um, I, it, it was quite, quite a big thing for me. I was at university at the time, so I deferred my degree. Yeah. Uh, I was studying law. That was the original plan. Amazing. So, Fantastic. yeah, I, I went to, uh, I, I deferred my degree, went to Beijing and, yeah, I ended up coming away with a gold medal out there, which was, it, it was amazing but it was that was my goal I went there with that goal to come away with that medal and, and I did. Okay Danielle so we've made our skewers let's put those on the plate yeah and then we'll marinate those in just one moment. There we go. So they're looking 
pretty good. Put those there and let's get rid of these chopping boards. Clear the decks. Good stuff. Now talk me through how we're going to make the sauce. So this is literally the easiest marinade to make in the world. All we need is four tablespoons of soy sauce. And this is gluten free. Yeah. Two tablespoons of the wasabi. So I've got... Um, oh, yeah. There we go. You're more high tech than I am. A little spoon. Yeah, and uh, a tea two teaspoons of honey. So. And we're just going to bung it all in this yep. mixing jar. And whisk it up with a fork. Here we go then. Let's do a tea So, matter. yeah, four of these. You take the lead. And I will be your sous chef all the way. One. Two. Three. And let's do a big one to finish. There we go. Perfect. Lovely jubbly. Then um, I'll just scoop, scoop the wasabi in. So this gives it a nice kick. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah, it and it's not, it's not too spicy either. So um, so obviously if, if people don't like spice, they just put less wasabi in. Yeah. There we go. And then the honey. Is this no? Aha, uh -huh. teaspoon. So we we'll put two, of, two spoons of those in. Nice and simple. So this brings a nice sweet flavour to the sauce. It does, yeah. Right, and then all we do is whisk that over the fork and it's done. Great. Very simple, but very effective. <laughs> That's the plan. There we go. So just stirring it like this? Yeah, yeah, just sort of make sure there's no big clumps of wasabi in yeah. there. Yeah, and um, that would uh, blow your head off a bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> So now let's go back to the, the Paralympics because we've not talked about it quite enough. We've only covered Beijing. Just Beijing. Let's now, yeah. fast forward four years to London 2012 because that was an amazing Paralympics, wasn't it? Oh, it was. I mean, going to Beijing was incredible, you know, that atmosphere. And I really wanted to do more. And I, Honestly, I, I thought they couldn't get better than Beijing because they got the people, the money, the resources to throw at it. Um, we were holding a Games in the middle of a recession. But honestly, everything in London was better apart from the weather, and even that wasn't so bad. So, yeah, it was um, it was incredible. You know that that support from the home nation, the, the the people that got behind it was was phenomenal, and and being able to represent my country on home soil, it well I, I can't really describe it to be honest. So um, I don't want to use all of it because we'll throw a little yeah. bit in with the stir fry vegetables, but we'll just sort of drizzle it over. Yeah, I'm freestyling. I like that. It's my kind of cooking. <laughs> and are we going to fry these? Are we going to grill these? Yeah, we're going to to fry them. So um, yeah, just just with a, a little bit of oil. Lovely. Should I get a frying pan? Well, we don't need to, they, they literally just take about two, three minutes to cook because oh. the, the salmon cubes are quite small. Yeah. So once we've, um, we'll let it marinate for a while, um, prepare the vegetables whilst we're doing that. Sounds great. We'll hold our horses so. on the salmon. And should we just get chopping? Yeah. Great. And I think the Paralympics, um, the legacy of the Games has, has just been phenomenal, you know. The awareness, and I think that sh for me, as a spectator, showed in Rio. Yes. What what 2012 did for the Paralympics and the sports and disability sports in general. Yeah, I really noticed that actually. I mean, I I did the same thing. I got a gold medal in Beijing. I got a gold medal in London. I didn't do anything different. But after London, I I had two full days of media interviews. After Beijing, I had two. That was it. Yeah. You know, so there was a lot more interest. Um, the media really did do a great job actually promoting it and getting people engaged with it. Uh, I had to do quite a lot of media in the run up to the games to promote archery um, and, and sort of let people know what it was all about. Of course, because I think. But for you, it's, it's the awareness of the, of the disability, but also the awareness of the sport, because archery is not a sport that always springs to mind. It's around in the Olympics, but mm. sort of in the interludes, yeah. we don't hear about it that much. Yeah, it's a very low profile sport. Um, you know, we don't, you don't really get that much coverage. And 
For me, I, I was sort of more, more fortunate than, than most because I started getting quite a bit of coverage after the Commonwealth Games. So I went to Delhi in 2010. Amazing. Yeah, but I, I was the first disabled athlete to represent England in the able-bodied there. Wow. So, yeah, because of that, the media started following me all the way through to London, um, which really, really helped raise my profile, but also raise the profile of the sport. Yeah, fantastic. So now to the are we on to the stir fry part. Yeah, great. Well, actually, if you just want to sort of turn turn over the salmon just to make sure yeah, it's all it's coated. It's all glazed. We'll have a look here. So. I definitely think your skewers are <laughs> looking a bit better than mine, but we'll run with it. There we oh, go. That looks good. Delicious. Great. So we're at the oven now. Should we? Yep. Rice off. Let's get the rice off and hands on. Hands on. Salmon in this one. Yep. Stir fry in this one. Sounds good to me. I'll get the vegetables. There we go. Should we just perfect? Yeah, just straight in. Throw it in. Oh, that nice sizzle. Oh, we didn't put any oil in. So we'll use. Yep. So rapeseed oil. Amazing. And why? Why are we using rapeseed oil instead of olive oil? Is that about right? Yep. That should be perfect. So. 50% of the 50% less saturated fat with rapeseed oil, so uh, yeah, great. A bit better for you. Health benefits, and let's get the rest of the. Oh, this looks amazing! Like rainbow colours. That's yeah. I fabulous. do like the bright colours actually. And Can we have the salmon now? That's great. There we go. I'll get us some utensils to. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Okay if you've then? got a, a fish slice, that would be. Yeah. So yeah, I want the pan almost smoking before you put it in. Um, this is yeah, quite a smoky dish, so I'm always setting off my, my fire alarm at home with this one. To but, get, um, get the extractor fan on. Yep. Oh yeah, door open. Fabulous. That sauce is looking great. I can't wait to try it. I'm just gonna So we just tip the sauce over. over the salmon. And how long do we cook the salmon for? It only takes about two, three minutes. So I tend to do it more on eye, really, than, um, you know, you can watch, you can see the salmon cooking um, as you go through the skewer. And then you turn it over once it's, it's about halfway through. You can see it, see it sort of cooking well. Right. And of course, you were awarded with an MBE. Yes. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting it. It was just after, after London 2012, they gave the gold medalist MBE. So I got a letter through the post and it was just absolutely amazing. Um, same week, I actually got a, a letter through from the University of Leicester where I did my undergrad and they wanted to give me an honorary doctorate. So, um, and that, that was really cool too. Although I do feel very mean about that because my sister is doing a PhD. So she has to work really, really hard, and I was just kind of giving Hello. this. Yeah. Hello, this is this is what arrived for me today. But obviously, so deserving, and after everything you've been through, and you know the the barriers that you've overcome yourself throughout your career. And right, so cooking's done. We did that for about ten minutes. The salmon, well, five minutes, I yeah, say. The salmon, less, yeah. and the same with the stir fry. So I think it's time to plate up. Yeah. So should we go with rice yep. first? Just a bit of a dollop each. There we go. And of course you could do this with any, you could do it with brown rice, you could do it with yeah. quinoa, any kind of grain. Absolutely. There we go. I think this is a jasmine rice. Got that, and now stir fry first. Yep. Okay, I'll let you do the honours. Oh, careful. Oh, be careful, it'll be hot. This is a good stir fry, all the colours, all the nutrients. In there. Oh, almost lost the carrot. There we go. Yeah, I have to say, I do love cooking. I do quite a lot of cooking at home. My presentation is usually uh, the thing that sort of lets me down. Wow. Don't Bla worry about bla that. Flavour. Flavour. Great. It. It's what I go with. Yeah. Well, that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? You don't really look at your food for very long. No. There no, we go. I certainly don't. And what's amazing about this is we just made that small. Um, marinade, but the smell is I know. phenomenal. It's delicious. And now for the final bit. Yeah. Once again, or should we just put them? Do you want to um, just, yeah. yeah. Be careful of them. Yeah, I, I am uh, falling off. 
There we go. There we they go. look great. Here we go. Do you want a couple? Yeah. There we go. Have it. Yep. Put that on. And we'll leave that little one, one left over. All right. Well, looks fantastic. That actually, looks really good, doesn't it? Danielle, this looks absolutely incredible. A true rainbow plate. Yep. Let's get stuck in. Okay. What are you going for first? Oh, definitely the salmon. The salmon. Mm. Get a bit of salmon on there. And a bit of a stir fry. Okay. Oh, and also a bit of a spring onion. Oh, that's mm. really good. Happy? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy. Okay. One more. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of rice on this time. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I wish you could try this at home. We well, can. Everyone can go and cook it now. Know how to do it. Danielle, thank you for joining us here in the Performance Kitchen. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Amazing stories that you can tell. You've had an amazing career and good luck with everything in the future. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching the Performance Kitchen. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.